What's going on guys, it's ZTechK here and today I want to talk about the iPhone 5S, uh, the, the A7 processor, uh, specs, speed and GPU which are some, some of the things that Apple uh, didn't talk about and these things are now uh, unveiled officially so the, the Apple iPhone 5S comes with the, uh, as you all know, the, the first ever 64 chip, uh, chip and uh, it is called as the Apple A7 processor and uh, uh, Apple A7 processor is a dual core chip which is manufactured by uh, Samsung and Samsung manufactured this chip in the uh, manufactured the previous chip that was in the iPhone 5 as well and on its 28 nanometer high K metal gate HKMG process so uh, the Apple A6 processor uh, was built on 32 nanometer and this A7 processor is built on HKMG process uh, which is uh, 28 nanometer so Apple's own ecosystem allowed the company to stay out of the uh, largely meaningless uh, quad core or octa core race and away from energy inefficient clock speed pumps so what do that means that the benchmarks so far have shown that the A7 dual core cyclone processor so the cyclone is the new name for the core uh, comes after the swift in the apple a6 and it has the same class, uh, clock speed as the apple a6 chipset which is 1.3 gigahertz and the anand tech reports that sources within arm confirm the ideal clock speed of a Cortex, a Cortex A15 core to be 1.2 gigahertz, but the spec race has driven companies like Samsung to bump it up to as much as 1.7 gigahertz in the Exynos uh, 5420, and jumping higher than around 1.2 gigahertz to 1.3 gigahertz results in huge increases and uh, and also energy consumption, uh, ruining the energies uh, and power ratio. So additionally, going quad core makes sense if you can manage the core uh, very finely, and that's something that yet to be done in a mobile chip. And and we already have a quad core, uh, I mean octa core system chips, which is uh, the Samsung Exynos octa processor. And now this was the first uh, uh, image, or you can say the first uh, uh, the unveiling. Uh, inner specs or inner things of the Apple A7 chip and it shows that a new cyclone processor of course take up more space and it seems that Apple uh, in terms of GPU that uh, the Apple is also using a a quad-core IMG Power VR G6430 graphics chip so there are no further details uh, other than this so yeah with more details I will come uh, and I will make m other video and I will show you I will tell you uh, more details about it and this is all that is now revealed and yeah if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe uh, peace out